So in this power world video guys we check out 7 secret powers no one has found within the world of power world. Now some of these powers are believed to be returning or coming with future content, others we just ain't sure about. What I've done is I've gone over previous gameplay trailers, uh, trailers on the game from Pocket Pair on Power World and some really interesting powers we are yet to discover in this game. Today we check them all out. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and before we go any further I'm giving away a couple of copies of this game or any game of your choice. To be with a chance of winning one simply drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below and make sure you are subbed. Winners are picked from the comment section and announced at the end of the week so good luck everybody. So these seven powers we just don't know what's happening with them. They have at one stage or another all been showcased to us besides I believe one. These have been seen in trailers, but just not in the game as of right now. We just don't know what happened to them. Some believe they were cut due to looking too much like Pokemon. Some believe they're coming in future content. For sure though, none of us know, but let's check them out anyway. And we will start with the one that was data mined and hasn't appeared in trailers. And that is a power currently known as a Dark Mutant. This one has been recognised as being a Mewtwo variant ripoff. I mean, I kind of see the similarities, but for me, it looks original enough to not be cut from the game. I mean, there are powers in this game as of right now we can go out and catch that resemble Pokemon way more than this one resembles any kind of Mewtwo I've seen. But hey, now this power is actually data mined from the game files on PC. It doesn't have a name attached to it. So it's either something real early that they have scrapped or maybe was a dev tester pal, we don't know. Or maybe they're in the process of dropping this within future content and it's there just as a placeholder item, we also don't know. But it's definitely a full modelled pal that people have actually on PCs have put into the game. So yeah, it's definitely all there, it's just got no details tied to it. But hey, we know it as the Dark Mutant, that's not its official name, but it does look cool as heck. And I'm hoping we do get to see this dude in the future. Okay, so we're going to move on. And the following two powers, guys, are probably the most popular powers that are missing from the game. These have been seen numerous times throughout the power trailers we've had, but are not found anywhere in the game as of right now. The two powers are Boltman and Dragostrophe. Now within the game files, these more or less have everything there to be in the game, but they just ain't. I do have a feeling though that the content we know is coming very soon indeed will feature both of these pals. Now Dragostrophy was more so in the trailers being flown as a world boss, you even see him at the end of a trailer, as well as what I believe is the PvP pal arena, which we do know is coming. I mean you see this guy quite a lot in these trailers. Boltman gets less trailer action, but I do remember seeing him referred to as sort of like a dungeon pal or something along those lines. Now, Dragostrophy has all his details in the files, from his saddle, which is called Dragostrophy Shotgun, to his level 3 in that transporting work suitability. Now, according to the files too, he closely resembles Astagon, as it's believed that they may be somehow connected. His description reads, A silent beast born of the abyss. Thou shall not stand before the beast. Thou shall not heed the beast. Now with Boltman it's the same. His description reads, The more it moves, the more it heats up, and the hair tips increasingly glow brighter. At its peak it becomes so dazzling that you risk blindness if you stare at it directly. So pretty cool. Now, the Boltman is classed as an electric type pal, but offers a level 2 in that kindling work suitability, which is interesting. So basically a hybrid. Pretty cool. Okay, so let's move on to powers that we've seen within the trailers, but that is it. They are nowhere else. These could be future powers, powers cut completely from the game. We just do not know. Okay, so let's start and first up we have this snippet from the official Power World trailer. Right here guys, I will slow it down, zoom in, pause it, you name it guys, to try and get a clearer look for you. So here guys, we see this white dragon, this flying white, what looks like a mythical Chinese dragon to me. Almost like a white version of Rayquaza from Pokemon. But yeah, this one's definitely interesting for sure. Don't know what this is, it definitely ain't in the game right now. But it's definitely, it looks actually quite big. If you think how far in the distance this thing is, it looks like a pretty big pal, I'm not going to lie. 
Now, we're in the same instance, guys. Now, I ain't certain on this one. Correct me if I'm wrong. But why are these pals running here? There are definitely four-legged pals here. I see a bit of black and white on their back, on their bodies. But they're also yellow too. They scream at me that they're electric type pals. I mean, I may be wrong. I've looked, I've looked, I've looked. I mean, I might be mistaken and I've completely overlooked a pal. You tell me. Okay, so I'm moving on to this colossal thing of a pal. This one warrants a massive name. Something like the Dreadnought Whale. Pretty cool. So what's interesting about this pal is we as players are riding it, but at the same time, so are our pals. Now this wouldn't make sense in the current game unless a pal is classed as just a means of transport to maybe this city it's taking us to and was never actually meant to be a tameable pal. I mean, we won't know until we see it in game. But actually guys, there are bones in this game which do closely resemble this pal. Check this out on the screen now. So as you can see here guys, this does look a lot like the skeleton of this giant whale pal we see here within the trailer. Even the gold crown looking things are intact here too. I mean, if so, this is really, really interesting. Does it mean what we are seeing in the trailer is somewhat extinct? Uh, meaning we may be in the future from what this trailer originally was. I mean, because this trailer is full of all kinds of things like massive cities, this, that and the other. None of these are present in the game we are playing now. Yes, I know it's early access. Yes, I know it ain't a finished game. These may come in the future. But hey, it's interesting that we see the bones of what looks like a pal, a massive pal, which does resemble this whale in the game as of right now. But it looks so apparent in these official trailers. So we just don't know for sure, people. Okay, so we're going to move on. And lastly, guys, we have this other flying pal, a rideable pal, which we saw from the real early trailers. Now, this one to me doesn't resemble anything uh, I've seen in the game. Some people have tried to say it looks a bit like Dragostophy. To me, it definitely don't. Now, this back shot is the only shot we have of this pal. And we can see its rider is mounted on its head. This gives me the impression that it's a lot bigger than what this actual shot makes out. I mean, you're riding its head, not its back. I mean, I think it's pretty big. Now, it screams to me that it's an ice kind of pal. It looks a bit like Frostalian from the back too. Same kind of shapes with its wings and its, I don't know if they're feathers or whatever you class that as. But it's definitely giving me off those cold vibes for sure. But yes, guys, this is yet another pal we are yet to see in this game. We have no other details on it. So what is it? We just don't know. But there we have it guys, seven secret pals. Now the roadmap does suggest new pals are coming, but how many, we do not know. So until then, we have to go off what we found ourselves. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more Power World, be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one.